the Atlanta Braves have made an offensive move yet again, acquiring Jared Kelenic, Evan White, and left-handed pitcher Marco Gonzalez from the Mariners in exchange for right-handers Jackson Kowar and Cole Phillips. The Mariners, man, just just briefly after trading Eugenio Suarez are back being sellers, bringing in a top prospect, number seven in the Braves organization, another right-handed pitcher, and seemingly is what is, is a salary dump. All righty, for Atlanta, you guys are getting former highly touted prospect Jared Kelenic. As a Mets fan, this is absolutely painful for me. 253 average, 11 home runs, 2.0 war last year. Did punch a wall and like hurt his hand, I believe. So he missed the year. But I mean, former top, top prospect in baseball was a part of the Robinson Cano, Edwin Diaz trade. If if a trade was bad for the Mets originally, and it turned it's turned out good for them. The disaster that it was for a while turns into more of a disaster. The Braves also get Evan White, who didn't even play in the big leagues last year. Hasn't played in the big leagues since 2021. 165 average, 10 home runs in his career. They also get Marco Gonzalez last year in 10 starts 5-2-2 ERA in 50 innings career 4-1-4 uh, ERA in 893 innings 665 strikeouts 1.289 whip so the big piece in this trade for the Braves is Kellenic and they're taking on overall 7 million of, Aaron, of Evan White and 12 million of Marco Gonzalez Gonzalez has a club option for next year as well so I mean this is 19 million dollars plus Kellenic in arbitration for the next like so many years of control you're giving like this is to dump these two guys they had to give give up Kellenic and it's not like their return is that bad also altogether Jackson Kowal isn't that much altogether 643 ERA last year 28 innings 912 career ERA but the big piece here is Cole Phillips the steal of the 2021 or 2022 excuse me mlb draft he fell because of tommy john 70 scouting fastball grade 55 slider 50 change of 50 control overall 50 i mean he is just highly highly talented has not pitched in a game yet coming back from tommy john but i mean his fastball touches 100 you know good good uh, power curveball which is probably gonna be more of a slider but overall very very good prospect going over to seattle so looking at this trade for seattle what is it really doing now you dump 19 million dollars off of your payroll so it was at 94 million um active with about 24 in arbit uh arbitration so about a 127 total figure now you're dropping that number down to like 108 um, so this opens up a possibility to go in and go get a big free agent. Could they have done this move to go pair up and try and get an Otani? Could they go, they have, you know, this firepower. Could they potentially, someone like San Diego want a Cole Phillips in the Soto trade? Could they go out and then replace Kelnick in the outfield with a Juan Soto? I think ultimately the Mariners, they there's been some issues among Jerry DePoto and the players, but I think that this has potential to like, open up a little flexibility small market team to go out and make that big move it'll be very very interesting to see what they end up doing and i want to know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below who won this trade in my opinion because phillips hasn't pitched in the like at all in minor leagues the atlanta braves won this trade i it, it pains me the braves they have already have so much talent and you now just added jared kelnick to this team like come on man unfair but overall i want to know what you guys think about this con in the comment section below as always hit that like and subscribe i'm gonna be making more content coming out so yeah come back in the next video see y'all then peace it's delicious.